Okay, we're gonna make a vinaigrette today. That means there is vinegar in the vinaigrette. Vinaigrette, vinegar. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by putting vinegar. Now, depends the vinegar you're putting in will determine the amount of oil that you put in. So I got some, uh, let me just go this way to go a little faster. I got some beautiful uh, uh, Sicilian lemon balsamic vinegar. Sicilian lemon balsamic vinegar. You can use any vinegar you want, but based on the vinegar you're going to be using will determine how much oil you need. Based on the acidity of the vinegar. You have some people that cook with the white vinegar. You know the one you do the window and the floor with? Okay, that's all it's good for, okay? If you did that with the, with the white vinegar you do the floor with, the measurement is 17 to 1. I don't know if it's 17, but it's a lot because it's very, very acid. If you're working with a vinegar like this guy right there, this is a 12-year-old balsamic vinegar, it lost most of its acidity, so you don't need as much oil. The amount of oil you put in, remember, is strictly based to the amount of to, to the, the quality of the vinegar you're using or how acid your vinegar is. This vinegar that I'm using right here is not very acid, so I'm not putting too much oil. You notice then the, um, the vinegar is an, it's almost the same color because it's a white balsamic and I like to use it. But if you, you notice then the vinegar is in the bottom. The reason why the vinegar is in the bottom is because vinegar is 30% heavier than oil, so it falls in the bottom. All right, we're going to put a little salt and pepper. All right, little salt and pepper right there. And uh, since my vinegar is kind of sweet, actually, it's not really, I'm going to put a touch of lemon juice in there. Just a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, so now we're going to create, we're going to put a little bit of Dijon mustard to create a full emulsion. You don't have to put Dijon mustard in there. As a matter of fact, look, I'll show you. I'll show you what happened, okay? This is an emulsion blender. If you don't have one of those, you, you can use a regular blender. But you need a blade to cut the molecule of the oil to be the same size as the vinegar, so they stick together. They create an emulsion, okay? Pay attention, look. This is an emulsion, okay? Right there is an emulsion. That means it's emulsified, emulsion. Okay, so now, if I leave this for a few minutes because I'm busy doing other things, what's going to happen? The vinegar is going to fall in the bottom, and, uh, and, and then it's going to start separating again. If I don't want it to separate, I put a little bit of Dijon mustard. And I mean Dijon mustard, okay? It can't be that yellow crap you put on a hot dog. That's good for the hot dog, okay? Not good for the vinaigrette, eh? So use Dijon mustard. And look, look, look. Now we got, now we got a full emulsion. You see, look at this. Now another thing you got to do, friends, you got to remember that. First of all, you're going to test it. It has to have the perfect balance between the, the vinegar and the oil. So, so the oil is not fatty, and the vinegar is not acid. Perfect balance, okay? Then, all right. mm. Oh, baby. You got to be able to drink your dressing. Have you ever tried to drink your dressing? You probably don't, right? Hey, will, would you Think about something. Would you ever open up the door of the fridge? And said, oh, let me take a sip of my dressing. Of course not, because it's gross, the bottle dressing, right? No good. Now, you're making a beautiful oil, a beautiful vinegar. You can drink it. No, no, I'm telling you, you can really, really drink it. No, nothing wrong with it. This is beautiful. Look at it. This is perfectly well balanced. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It has to be that good. You have to say, say, would I drink my dressing? If not, figure out a way to get better oil or better vinegar. You can make it in advance. If it separates again, which eventually it will, just put a little more immersion blender and create a beautiful, nice vinaigrette like that. See how beautiful that is? We're going to serve it today on arugula. You can serve with anything you want. You can put it in any salad. Make your own dressing instead of buying bottled dressing.